afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sydenham Baptist Church Life. This week, we're talking to Debbie Stridham, who is the team leader of the Connect Ministry. Welcome, Debbie. Hello, how are you? Great, great to have you here. Um, tell, us about, tell us about you. What fills an average week for Debbie? I work three days a week as a career counsellor at a secondary school, and then I study at um, Hillsong College. I'm doing Bible College. Oh, fabulous. What are you doing at Hillsong College? I'm doing a certificate in uh, ministry, um, pastoral leadership stream. Wonderful. Well, that's great. And uh, what, what's your main role at SBC? I'm doing pastoral care and the Connect ministry combined. Great. So, um, it, tough time to be doing both of those things. What does yeah. what does the Connect ministry uh, look like? Um, yeah, we want to create a space for people where they feel they um, they belong and they can feel that they are part of a community. Mm. And I think that's my aim and our aim as the church is that people will come to church but feel that they are actually belonging, and it's a place that they can call home, and where we can just love and show Jesus' love to them. Yeah, it's so important, isn't it? Because often yeah. coming to a church can be a yeah. really yeah. frightening experience. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Fantastic. But yeah. I imagine it must have been really hard during, or must be really hard during COVID to do this. Yeah. It is very hard during COVID because there's no um, interaction where we actually meet on a weekly basis. So we don't have that interaction and that personal contact with people um, weekly and where we can actually, um, where it is more comfortable um, if there's a need people can come and you know share that need with us or if there's an issue or a problem but also just celebrate life with people it's mm. just really hard to do even that so um it's mm. yeah it's very um it's not a, a good space to do this but we yeah. try <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's good yeah so thank you for for not giving up that's really great yeah. but yeah. what what would you love to see happen in the future certainly as hopefully you know uh, getting back to attending church services yeah goes back to a bit more of a normal what would you hope to see well i would like to have um you know that space where people do feel um this is home this is a place where we um, i feel i belong to and like i said i want to um, where people can feel that um, we can show and care for them and create that space where they feel this is where i belong i've got a connection with a group of people and um just yeah, feel Jesus' love. Just really, ex I just want people to feel God's love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. Um, so how can we best pray for the Connect team then at the moment, Debbie? At the moment, it's, I think, because we don't have that regular contact with people, um, we do call, I've got a, a team of free that actually call, we try to call every three, four weeks and make sure we actually do call people. So we do the phone calls. But I also would like um, if people will feel more comfortable with that and um, actually call us if there is a need to to actually really build that relationships where they feel like not waiting for us to call, but if there's a need or even if they just want to celebrate or praise um, God for something that they can actually yeah, be in contact with us so we can actually just try to feel that we are part of a community. We're all doing life together. and um, just um, So I think just pray that people will have that um, heart to feel that they are cared for but also that they feel like you know they actually feel comfortable to pick up the phone mm. or send an email or send me a text message and say you know i need this or help me or pray for me or just celebrate life with me um, yeah. look i probably should uh, mention we we've had um two emails from people in recent times who don't have never attended our church but have logged on and been a part of our services and have actually gone as far as emailing us to tell us how wow. much they're enjoying it. It's amazing, that's, isn't it? That's amazing, yeah. yeah. It's, just, um, it's so, good that people feel the lot. Yeah, they actually, so people are actually, they want to feel like they are part of the community, yeah. especially in this COVID time. It's so hard. Yeah, yeah. Because we feel so isolated. And I think a lot of people do feel that isolation, especially the ones that's on their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, I just think it's a good reminder to us that even though things are difficult, we're, we've still got to be as, as uh, try and be as welcoming as a community as we yeah. possibly can. Yeah. So thank you to you. And we look forward to what the future holds yeah. and what we might be able to create as a church. Uh, hopefully we're all uh, back in the building soon. again soon. And then, and, and, and also able to invite each other to each other's homes as yeah. well. Yeah, um, no, I can't wait. <laughs> It's great. Yeah, thanks right. for having me. Thanks for your time today, Debbie. Thank you.
Bye-bye. <laughs>